Hi, today we're going to have a look at some glitch techniques to spice up your music. And I don't know if you're familiar with glitch techniques, but they've been made popular by the likes of Square Pusher, AFX Twin, Venetian Snares, Exile, sort of IDM, chopped up sounds, and we're going to explore how to create some of those easily. Now the plugins that we're going to be having a look at today are available for both Mac and PC. Now first of all, I've created a new project in Logic and I'm just going to whack a drum beat into it, but you can whack any audio file that you like into these plugins. You can use these plugins on anything that you want. There's no rules about what you should use it on. And I've just whacked a simple 90 BPM hip hop loop and just and changed the tempo, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. Cool, just a simple loop going on there before we make it crazy. <laughs> right, the first plugin we're going to have a look at is Live Cut. Now, this is an absolutely amazing plugin. It algorithmically rearranges any audio that you put into it, and I'll give you a demonstration of what that sounds like. Now, there's three main different algorithms. The first one, Cut Proc, is pretty simple. Cuts up your your drum beat in a pretty formulaic way, but still, but that being said, you can still get some wicked sounds out of it and some wicked variations that you might not have thought to put together yourself. The next algorithm, which I, I really, really do like, is the warp cut, and it may it just I'll give you an example because words can't describe how cool this effect is. And this is all from that original drum loop, which makes it even more fun. And there's a few parameters that you can muck around with. I'll, I'll let you explore the, the plugin by yourself because you get much more creative results out of, that way, out of it that way. But uh, what I liked it is putting up the pitch, whacking on the comb effect and the bit, and the bit crusher, changing the little delay times here. <laughs> so you can get some wicked sounds out of it. And uh, the last the last algorithm on it is uh, Square Pusher, which I absolutely love as well. So. And the best thing to do, because you don't have much control out of the placement of uh, of the variations, the best thing to do is bounce it down, and then re-import it and cut it up, and cut the bits that you like out of it, and resequence it in a way that you that suits you. Uh, the next the next plugin that I'm going to show you is Super Trigger. And this is the last two plugins that I've shown you are both free. This does a very similar thing to a warp cut, except in a much, much simpler fashion. It's more like the cut proc one, but you, that being said, you can still get some wicked sounds out of it. Cool. So that's another great free plugin. And the next one is Buffer Override, made by Destroy Effects. Now they've got some wicked effects that I, uh, I definitely recommend check you checking out if you want to make some weird, weird sounds. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty recognizable effect if you've ever listened to IDM or glitch music. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration. <laughs> And you can make the effect a bit more tame by putting on the tempo sync. So I'll show you. So it's pretty cool effect. So those last three that I've showed you were all free plugins. And the last one that I'm going to show you is the Effectrix. Now this is the only one you have to pay for, but if you like me and you've moved from a PC to a Mac and been a fan of D Blue Glitch, this is 
pretty much the only alternative that sounds as good and in some ways uh, sounds better. And it has an, a benefit that the blue glitch doesn't have, which is you can layer effects over over the top of each other. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. This is going to sound horrible because I've took no time and just randomly drawn in things, but I'll just give you a quick demonstration. <laughs> So you can just clear them like that and I'll just give you a quick overview of some of the effects that I like and I think they're really really useful for pretty much any style of music. Uh, you can get some really really creative effects out of this stretch which is a really simple sort of granulator that um, allows just two main parameters, the control of two main parameters, the grain size and the time but you can get some wicked effects out of it. like freezing time I like that effect I think it's a really good effect a lot of uh, acoustic music uses a lot of uh, granulated sounds really long stretched out sounds with loads of reverb on it that sound amazing so uh, the creative possibilities don't just stop at one style of music and uh, in some cases it's best to mix uh, creative styles creative ways of thinking from one style of music into another style of music. You might be making funk and some of these effects can be used in pretty funky ways if used correctly. But um, yeah, so you've got some reverses, some pretty cool scratch loops, uh, some loopers, pretty self-explanatory, and this great effect X loop. which is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I hope you have fun with the plugins. Cheers. Thank you very much.